Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a demonstration video of my first web application, which is totally for a stat automation. Like, uh, if you get into the Structure Simplified website, you can see the link to the application over here, the homepage itself, or you can go through that app menu over here. So, like, I'm going with this link and you can see 2d symmetric clear span pp frame generator so like in general what this application does is like it is going to take your inputs and then based on the input it is going to create a stat syntax like that is a stat editor code and after which you can copy this thing and paste it on stat editor so that like it generates the frame with all the necessary details so like for the input section I have divided into three building parameters, loading data and design parameters. So like these are very main and then major uh, inputs. Like if I'm not getting into the part where we are going to assign the wind load or seismic load because like here I just take the number of wind load cases and number of seismic load cases which I have to generate. So the loads will be assigned by the user manually. So I didn't get into that particular part. So if you have any doubts regarding the input, you can always go with this help image. So like it shows the width, height, the slope value, and then like the unsupported length of near side column, far side column, near side after and far side after. So you can go through the image and uh, let us try with one simple building. So my building width is going to be 30 meter, height is going to be seven, base spacing is eight, my slope of the building is 1, dead load is 0 0.1, live load is 0 0.75, 0 0.25. I'm going to generate 6 wind load cases and then 2 seismic load cases. Moving on to the unsupported length, I'm going to use 3, 6, 1.5 and 1.5. So like we got all of our inputs. Let me generate the code. Yes, you can see like uh, the start input code has been generated and here you can see like since we provided three and six for near side and faucet columns so like we can see three three point six seven six and seven point two so like it generates the code based on these inputs let me copy the code to the clipboard so we got a message start input copy this copy to clipboard moving to the stat so like i already opened an empty stat file going to the command line and just going to paste the code over here close it and save it simple we got our frame so like the frame is generated with a preliminary sections so since the frame is symmetric so like the sections or uh, preliminary sections are already applied moving to the support as a default when the support is provided so like if you're going to go with fixed base you can change it anytime moving to the loading so like dead load is created based on the base spacing we provided like it calculates the load and applies over here and then the number of in cases and seismic cases which we specified is generated over here then moving to the design part so like as a default it chooses is 800 as the design code and then the parameters are generated as well with the check code and still member takeoff so the only thing which the user have to do is just get to the loading part assign the specified wind load and seismic load then create the load combination that's all hope like this would be helpful to most of the users and uh, since the application is free on web i invite a free structure engineer who is doing a engineered building design to make use of the tool save some time just provide your valuable feedback so that like i can improve my upcoming tools so in order to help me out with the feedback or suggestions you can always go to this contact us menu or like have provided all my social media links over here you can contact me in linkedin or instagram anytime.